Right, I just want to take you through a marker float setup that I use on weedy lakes like this gravel pit on uh, Yately South Lake. Uh, I use a very stiff rod, uh, more spob rod than a marker rod. It's actually a four pound test curve rod. Reason I use this is because in weedy lakes, if you land in a weed bed, you can literally just pluck the, the lead out of the weed bed and it can, it can fall probably about a foot uh, shorter of the weed bed rather than if you're using a softer rod and you're trying to pull it out, it acts as a spring and the lead ends up flying back a lot more. Um, plus you also get a much better feeling for a stiffer rod than you do a softer rod. Um, this side will also use kinetic uh, marker braid which is in 25 pound. Super stuff, little stretch, ultra tough, um, perfect for what you want it for any distances. Um, you want little stretch because obviously you want to feel exactly what's on the bottom. Um, Braid gives you that, whereas monofilament you've got a lot of stretch in it, and you're not going to feel what you what you're trying to find on the bottom of uh, of these lakes. Um, the marker float in weedy lakes needs to be very buoyant, as is in the case of this one, which is a new seeker. Um, this has a an excellent little feature on it, and that you can interchange the veins. You know, you've got black, and we've got orange as quick as that literally just take them on and off um, that's ideal for for sunny days um, and obviously the orange one is perfect for when you're just setting up after work and uh, the lights going down um, and yeah uh, and you want something very bright and you can't miss that it's ex it's extremely bright at, at well over 100 yards um, secondly i've got uh, an aluminium oxide free flow ring this is really important on, on weedy lakes. You can use a flexi ring on lakes that don't um, have as, as much weed as this, but what you tend to have, if you don't have a large uh, bore ring like this, uh, the line won't pass through. It'll get clogged up on little bits of debris of weed that you, you're notoriously going to pick up. Another uh, excellent feature of this is a little to, to know uh, uh, resistance that you get from uh, from the ring itself, and it's ultra tough. Do not use a plastic type of any or, or, of anything like curtain rings. I have seen people do this, and and it's it's very dangerous to use on, on braided mainline because it, what it will do it will just cut through the plastic, and you could cast at one point and someone's opposite you, and the leg could come off, which is um, n nobody wants. Um, the float, as it's going back to the float, the float is interchangeable. I've got a, I've got a, a covert tail rubber on the back here with uh, an easy clip. This is just in case I don't want to use, uh, I don't need the, the, the seeker float. We, uh, there's other marker floats in the guard, the range that, that, um, that aren't quite so buoyant and quite so big. So if I want to use that, I, I can just by changing it rather than cutting the line and, and retying it. The, the lead boom, um, on this, because it's a gravel pit, I will use uh, a large uh, lead so I can get as maximum feeling through the rod as possible. This one in particular is a four ounce, but on some siltier lakes, I won't, I won't use such a heavy lead purely because you're literally going to be constantly dragging through uh, silt and very little to, you'll literally just keep uh, getting stuck and you're not going to find what you're looking for. I've got 45 pound lead core plummet here which acts as a perfect boom, uh, it serves its purpose for anti-tangle uh, properties. Um, you can use a stiff nylon like the Shore Flow, something like that, um, it's each their own really. I prefer uh, a lead core and obviously it's simple to just splice and it makes it pretty quick. Same again with the lead, as I said you can take this off, I've got an easy clip yet again, covert tail rubber goes on the top, makes it all nice and neat. Um, and there you have it, it's all ready to go, perfect setup in my opinion.